Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be working on another one of my Disney characters in the series that I'm doing on oil painted Disney characters in an impressionist style. Today's character is Robin Hood and I'm going to start with doing my version of an underpainting. This basically allows me to put on the impressionist paint later without worrying about any of the white background showing through and it also allows me to do a little bit of color blocking um, that way I don't get confused about where colors go later in the painting. I like to do the underpainting first and then I move on to doing the background. I do my background with a palette knife. There are a few different ways I do this. Sometimes I put down little blobs of color like I am right now. Other times I'll smear color on the palette knife first and then I'll drag it across my surface. I really like this technique because it gives me a really unique background that's still really soft. And I do usually go around the figure like I am right now with a paintbrush and that just allows me to keep a clean line around the figure and not get too much paint overlapping onto my figure that I have to deal with later. I always try and make sure my background is a more soft pastel color than the figure is going to be. That way the background doesn't detract from the figure or take away from the figure in any way. For painting the character itself, I usually use just little dabs of paint and they're fairly thick. I actually really like the texture of thick oil paint and I like how it gives an interesting and varied look. Sometimes I'll do a cross hatching technique, sometimes I'll do bits going in each direction and that just kind of helps you get a little bit more definition with using the actual shape of the paint itself if that makes sense. So when you're putting the oil paint on it goes on really really thick if you are not like diluting your oil paint with linseed oil or a gal kid and I wasn't doing that here I was just leaving my paint really thick and the dark edges you see sometimes that look like a circle are actually thick walls of paint on the outside of my brush strokes and you can use these really thoughtfully this thickness of the paint to actually kind of add another dimension it works really well in areas that you're doing something like a fur and different sizes of paintbrush give you different types of lines and different thicknesses so here I'm using a really small paintbrush for his fur to get really small kind of lines that look like fur coming off of the character but now that I've talked a little bit about technique, I'll talk about the materials that I'm using. I am using Windsor & Newton oil colors, and they're just the traditional oil colors that are not water soluble. And I also am using a few of the Georgian water mixable oils. The thing that's cool about the Georgian water mixable oils is that they can be mixed with the traditional non-water soluble oils. So it's totally fine if you have those to mix them with traditional oils. I started out with the Georgian oils and then I moved to traditional oils when I figured out that I liked the medium. Traditional oils do have to be cleaned up with a mineral spirit or a paint thinner of some type, but I also find that the Georgian water mixable oils are best cleaned up with some sort of odorless mineral spirits as well. It just takes the paint out of your brushes a lot better and preserves the brushes a lot better for future use. So if you watch several of these videos, you might be asking yourself, Jada, what are you doing with all of these paintings of Disney characters? Do you just have a room or a wall dedicated to these? And the answer is no. These were actually gifts for the people attending my wedding. I'm having a really small wedding, but we are getting married at Walt Disney World. So I wanted to do something really cool for each of the guests who are making the huge, huge and amazing effort to travel all the way to Florida from Texas or from Georgia to be at my wedding and I'm painting each of them their favorite Disney characters and this particular yes favorite Disney character was Robin Hood. But I also thought it would be really cool to make a video of me painting each one of these that way if the guest wanted to see the process of painting their oil painting they could come and watch them and I could look back on them and remember all of the effort that I put into these really fun paintings. And I had a lot of fun painting these. I'm so glad that I got to paint them for all my family and friends. And I hope that they really, really enjoy them. But we're approaching the end of this painting. I think Robin Hood turned out pretty cute. 
Here's a close-up view of the texture that I was talking about earlier, and you can really see how this texture kind of gives you another layer and another dimension and another way to convey what you wanted to say with the paint. And I find that to be a really exciting thing to do. And I also just think it's really nifty to look at. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching this video. I am thrilled every time I see videos getting views. You guys are so, so awesome for watching all of these videos. And I just want to thank you so much for that. And I hope that you guys have a fantastic day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think, and I'll see you guys next time.